welcome to the Freak Show. Bumpy Big Squiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I take another first look, this time at Space Tyrant. It's by Blue Wizard Digital and released on February 27th, 2018. Now, I haven't actually touched this play this in any way. I don't know what I'm getting into, but we're going to get into it and we're going to see. Sowing galactic chaos comes so very easily to a Space Tyrant. Warping minds and citing petty wars, such schemes never fail to amuse even in a life as long as the stars. Interrupting this blissful reverie bursts the Astron Ambassador with a list of absurd demands. Stop meddling with vassal empires, respect galactic order, pay your space parking ticket. Uh-huh. The sharp blast of my disintegrator cut off his blustering speech mid-sentence. Such insolence cannot go unpunished. Clearly, the time has come to crush the Astron Imperium. Okay. Casting my mind across the stars of the Hoplite clans, I quickly found a leader who chafed the uh, at Astron law. Full of resentment, hate, and apparently steroids, he will be my first tool to shatter the Imperium. The path to ascension is lined with the remains of the weak. Okay. Uh, select a mission by clicking on this icon. Oh, that was loud. Hello. All right. Continue. Sure, we'll, we'll learn to play as we go. Did you know you could switch between commanders at the same planet without leaving the shipyard by clicking on their portraits? What? I know. I have no idea what that means. But we'll pretend it's awesome. Okay, basic navigation. Click and drag to move. Cool. Use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Click your fleet to select it. Click a neighboring planet to move your fleet. A fleet gets one move per turn. Click the end turn button to advance. Okay. I can click and drag to move. I can select my fleet. I can move to the asteroids. I feel like the game sounds are quite loud, but that's okay. I'm probably louder than they are. Alright, so I should end my turn. Okay. The Hoplite Dynasty. I can't seem to move the camera anymore. There we go. Now I can. Prepare to die, city. Burrow down or be destroyed. Here we go. Combat. In combat, your fleet is always on the left. Ships in your fleet are automatically... Or, sorry, fire automatically, but a special... I, that was too fast. I can't read that fast. I'm sorry. Some fire instantly. All others require you to target a specific ship. Ships can also be clicked to repair breaches. Or fire again if inspired by the commander. All right, let's read that thing that we missed. Fleet is always on the left. Uh, auto some will fire automatically, but a special ability is also available if you have enough energy. Clicking on a ship will unleash its special power. Some fire instantly. Others require a target. Okay, I got it. Click to begin. This has already got me worried. Alright. Can, can we... Can we move... Our ships. Fire with hatred. I did it. I clicked a lot of stuff and I, I won and nobody died. I feel like you should be able to move while you're within combat. Like reposition your ships. That way you can have the tanky ships tank and the non tanky ships non tank. I know, shocking to be sure. Alright guys and gals, hold on for one quick second. I do apologize. I know I have the stuff down pretty low, but I feel like it's still relatively loud. Okay. So, we're going to move from here, I guess, to the lab. And we're going to take another battle. Burrow down or be destroyed. We will never be defeated. Click to begin. Looks like we just hop right in and start. I'm gonna actually save up for a meteor strike. 
a little, little less whelming than I was hoping. Oh, what is this? It's another volley, huh? Got him. Stonehair is level two. Fleet size increased to ten ships. All right, is there a way to modify my fleet? Stone hair? No, it doesn't look like it. I can hurl meteors. Well, that is a cool skill. Not gonna lie. I do like the idea of uh, I can invade the planet. That sounds cool. Let's do that. Most planets have defense and must be invaded. Click to roll the invasion dice. If you roll higher than the defense, you win. Oh no, RNG! Why? My one and only weakness plants are automatically explored after capture. Among the strange and varied experiments. Uh huh. Exploration yields many bonuses. And dangerous. Okay. Oh boy, ladies and gentlemen. Oh boy. Do you know the uh, gov the governor appeals appeals for calm as looting runs wild. Okay. Oh, cool. I won. Oh, I'm not really sure why, but I'm fine with that. Among the strange and varied experiments on the station, you come across a grotesque predator locked in a cage. What will you do? Push it out the airlock or take it as a pet? The Predator grudgingly accepts a collar, and you bring it aboard your ship. Its presence by your side will surely be valuable in the future. Sweet, I now have a pet. Trade influence, which exploration events... Okay. Important stuff. Alright, looks like we're going to go get ourselves a gold mine after we end our turn. Okay, we got some science points up here. We have a die. Okay. Onward! These are our space rocks. Well, I gotta say, I don't really feel like they stand much of a chance. I could probably be wrong. Feel like he's dead. The struggle is real. Nothing tops the Megaton Punch. Invade! I'm learning stuff, folks. Your weakness sickens us. Sweet. Your, your have what? That was in English. Your have taken? What does that mean? Must have been you have taken, but there was an extra R there. That's fine. How to Tyrant. Okay, so we did the first one. Let's go to the next. All right, sure. There is always one prison near your home world. Learn to tyrant. Tyrants are us. That's fine. All right, what are we doing here? Income in the shipyard. Planets you control will produce credits, research, or crystals each turn. Credits are used to buy ships from the shipyard. Fine. To access the shipyard, select your fleet and click on the shipyard button or double click a fleet. Ship platforms will rise with something. Click and drag on ship tiles to put them on the fleet grid. Ships moved off the grid will be added to your surplus. The surplus must be emptied before exiting the... Oh. Okay. Huh. That's interesting. Death Ray? What? Sorry. Let's see what it says here in this next little bit here. Rise with ships that you can purchase. Ah, okay, gotcha. Alright, let's skip it. Okay, so let's go here, and this is what we have. We have our little babies. I mean, I guess I'm fine with that. To the prison! To the prison we go! Tonight we dine in space hell. I'll shoot. I mean it. I'm gonna save a bulwark. Oh, they're just gonna lob stuff at me. Oh, that's different. That's not good. 
I sort of need him. I guess I won. How do you repair guys again? I don't. I don't remember that thing being a thing that I could. Hmm. All right. Well, we're gonna go and invade. But for calm, his looting runs wild. All right, and we got a three. Perfect now. Count Blow Bloom has been released. What? An ion storm sweeps through the system, and the fleet cannot avoid it. Heavy interference has already blinded all ship sensors. Batten the hatches. Locked, locked, and locked. Alright, batten the hatches is what it is. A core breach. The storm is powerful, disrupting and damaging systems across the fleet. Several ships have core malfunctions and explode. Oh, well, that's fantastic. Well, that doesn't seem very good for me. So, I have two fleets now? Is, I guess that's that's what they're telling me. Oh. Oh, would you look at that. I'm gonna put you there. A carrier. How much is that? 60? We did something like that, eh? That seems probably terrible, but we're gonna give it a shot. Surplus ships are those you own but have not placed into the fleet grid. All ships must be either placed or recycled before exiting the shipyard. Yeah, okay. Alright, so that's gonna be that fleet, and then this fleet is probably gonna be made up of little baby ships because we can't afford anything else. Okay, so, with that being said... We can go for Crystal World or City. I like the idea of going after the city. You're gonna see double, bro. It's DJ Days. Aw, oh, yeah. Oh, we got a boarding party. That's interesting. Space Marines invade an enemy ship. Power. How, how do I repair again? Oh, we're sending like little babies over there. That's so cool, sorry. I, I don't know what's happened right now. Like, why couldn't we use any of our stuff? That's not my normal guy. Slaves should know their place. Click to exit. I thought I had this guy selected. I didn't? Oh, this guy's this guy's garbage. Look at him. He's got nothing. Alright, well, whatever. Can, can you even move at this point, buddy? I don't know. I think we're gonna we're gonna invade here. Roll higher than a two. Oh yeah. All right. What are we getting? Nothing. Oh, that's that's a rip off. What are these? Crystals power cards. They regenerate every turn. Okay. We get our first card. Cards and crystals. Cards are fueled by crystals. I see this. To play a card, hover over the one you want and then click on it. Some are played instantly. Others require that you target a planet or a fleet. The more crystal worlds you control, the more cards you can play. Okay. I am all over this junk. Orbital strike. Ooh. Well, that sounds fairly legit. Let's go visit our peeps here. I think I'm going to do the same kind of setup that I have with the other. Let's see how that plays out. Alright, the fortified asteroids. We're going to go here and attack a crystal world because, you know, that's what we do. Uh, maybe we can talk this out. Sorry, Big Nose McGee. It is not going to happen. Fire those volley, volley those fires. I don't know. Forward heal. Blaster boost. That doesn't sound good. He did. 
got him. Please don't space me. Your uh, weakness offends me. He leveled up too. Yeah. Fleet size increased. Cool. We're gonna invade this bad boy. Yeah, six damage. That's what I'm talking about. All right, what do we get? Inside an abandoned factory, you find operational droids mindlessly fussing away at a spotless interior. Cool. What will you do with them? Uh, weld lasers to their heads and wire them into the defense net. Yeah, no, that. That seems like a totally safe and sane thing to do. Applying the lasers, your technicians trip an attack circuit. The robots now with lasers wreak havoc in the fleet. Aww. That's my reward. I got a ship destroyed. <laughs> it was a terrible idea. It was a terrible, terrible idea. Why did you guys let me do that? It's fine. Not enough money. Well, I guess that's fine. Alright. Okay, and... They're probably strong enough to deal with this guy. That's chlor it's chlorophyll. We will never be defeated. Can I volley them? No. Ha! Fool! It's a little late for the healing there, buddy. Seal breach. Boarding party. Oh my gosh, look at it! What, are we gonna take it? Are we gonna take it? Like, how does a boarding party work? I don't know. Were we able to capture it? Mediocre. All hail our new overlords. Count Blob Blobulin is level 2. Sweet. Okay, yeah, let's try invading this. Roll a three or higher. We got a five. Perfect. Flawless victory. Nothing discovered. Blobulon, man, you're you're just failing me left, right, and center here. This is pretty cool. I like this. It's kind of like um. It's kind of like Risk almost. Not exactly, but it's kind of like Risk as you know, you move from spot to spot, and you go and you do the battle. But there's a bit more strategy and tactics as opposed to just building up type situation. I like it. All right, we got renewed assault. Allows a planet to be sieged again. Oh, in case we fail, I like that. All right, what are we gonna do? We're gonna throw you over here. We do not have enough for you. Or we're just not gonna throw you over there. Hold on, let's put you back. There we go. Double cruiser action. Can I move you all the way there? No. Okay, so they're going to share the, the limelight there. It's fine. We're going to have Count Count Crapulon here. Do, do something. There we go. Not enough money. It's fine. There we go. Alright, we're going for it. It's Hummer. These are our space rocks. I pitted a fool. Oh boy, howdy. That looks dangerous. I do not like that. Okay, we're, we're trying to capture it. Four of our boys on there. But instead we just annihilated it. And none of our stuff died, so... We'll take it, I guess. Should be able to invade short of... I mean, we can't roll less than the one, right? So we're gonna guarantee to get in there. You've proven yourself ready for a real challenge. Victory. Alright, never be afraid to exploit your enemies. Choose your empire. Alright, we have the Hoplite Dynasty. Oh, select an empire to launch your campaign. Click on a mission to review its details. 
Uh, beating missions will drive back the Senate and bring you many rewards. You'll find artifacts and perks that last the duration of a campaign. Along with new cards and Empire Unlocks that will help in all future campaigns. To win a campaign, you need to unlock and beat the Senate War Mission. If you lose your last commander or the Senate advances too far into a region, you will lose the campaign. Alright, so we just kind of got a taste for it. So there's the Hoplite Dynasty, the... We're going to hop in. We're not really going to do much. Oh, it looks like we're stuck with the Hoplite to start with. But it does appear that we're going to be able to unlock quite a few different things, including ships and just various different heroes and commanders or whatever you want to call them. And then we'll be able to unlock two additional people. So if we manage to succeed, we'll unlock the Berserk Union. And then the Techno Slug Party, which sounds fun, creepy, and slightly terrifying. But also awesome and really cool. Well, we'll hop in, we'll play just for a few more minutes, guys and gals, and then that's going to do it for the first look. I really like this game. It's a lot of fun. As cold and hard as uh, the rocks from which their ships are made, Hoplites excel at both space and ground combat. Oh boy, look at all this stuff. There's a lot of info here. Battleships win 200 battles... Dreadnoughts kill 20 space monsters. Commander Greenfoot win 5 missions. Commander Redeye win 6 capture and hold missions. There's 29 cards total. We have 0% of those. And there's 14 different tactics that we also have 0% of. There are planets captured, destroy, ships destroyed, lost, credits earned, fleets built and lost, fleets destroyed, text researched, cards played, death rays fired. Total Rebels Crushed, and Total Turns. Then the Strengths, Strongest Ship. Strongest Ships, Improved Invasion, and Die. Sure. Weakness, okay. Reduced Hand Size, and Reduced Choices on Tech Up. That's fair. And it looks like there's even a Hard Mode available as well. Alright, let's hop in and see what's up. Hoplite Clan Chosen. Your invasion begins now! Listen not to the lamentations of the citizens, but rather focus your mind on your enemies. Alright, so we have a few different missions here. We can't go to the Hive Worlds yet. We can go to the Twisting Nebula or the Burrowed Fields. Um, okay, I guess we'll go to the Burrowed Fields. Gains, control, credits, debris, smasher. Alright, let's do it. Mission Loadout. This is where you'll review and select the loadout that best suits your next mission. Perks earned in previous missions can be found on the perk bar. Artifacts earned in previous missions are also selected here. Mouse over other icons on the screen for more valuable loadout information. Okay. Well, I don't think we have a whole lot to do here. I was like, I don't really think we have much. So let's just get to it. Our boy Stonehair is ready to go. Conquer all planets. Neutrals ally with Senate. Moderate Senate attacks. Unrest from agitation. Quirks. Debris field. No battleships. And red tape. Fewer something than another. The tyranny meter on the right hand side represents the strength of a space tyrant's control. Gain tyranny by capturing planets, destroying ships, and exploring. Unrest is the uh, position to your control. It consumes tyranny each turn. If tyranny ever runs out... Populations will rebel. And you will lose. Defeat. Alright, so there we go. Another thing to be added into the old mix. So there's our tyranny meter. We have 10 unrest, so we gotta make sure we get stuff handled. Otherwise, we're gonna be looking rather foolish. I am gonna throw the carrier in there. I rather enjoyed the carrier. Alright, so where's going to be the easiest place to go or get us the best? Is anything going to net us... No, not really. I say, I want something to net us a... a chunk of money, but it doesn't look like that's going to be the case. So I'm going to go to the barracks here. We're going to take this on. Alright. Kapalko, if that's your real name. Tactic system unlocked. Alright, start by selecting a tactic. It can be used at any time during combat. Just click the chosen tactic to trigger it. Ah, okay. So which ones do we have? Magnetic chaff. All large ships do 30% less damage. Invasive program ship 
fire rate reduced by 50%. Make ships invulnerable for 10 seconds. I like the rest of it. Alright, I'm gonna go with the bulwark. And we're gonna do some volleys there. We'll seal the breach. And then bulwark. I never actually got bulwark off originally there. Ha! Ah. Okay, we did it. We defeated them. A little, a little sticky, a little bit messy, not gonna lie. And it does look like our ships are a little bit banged up too. They don't seem to fully heal immediately. Or at least not until the next turn. So we're gonna go to invade here. There's a two. Can we not roll a one? Oh, RNG does not hate me today, folks. Does not hate me today. Inside an abandoned factory, you find operational droids. My, yeah, we're gonna smash them up and use them for parts. I hope. And pass it. Facing their doom with characteristic uh, stoicism, the robots are quickly broken down to spare parts. I'm sadistic now, apparently. But I did get some extra monies. Well, I didn't die a horrible death. I feel like that is a win overall. Oh, they're doing things that we can't see yet. There is money to be had over there, and we got all this stuff. Weapons test plus two to research. Sure, I'll do that. Increase the fleet leader's XP by one. 15 credits for... Yeah, why not use that? Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I think this is going to be the spot where I do break off this first look episode. Or video, I should say. And, yeah. You guys have a rough idea what the game is all about. It is quite fun. I like the fact that it is turn-based. I can take my time and talk to you guys. And that was making me nervous there for a minute. Because it was spinning. I was like, oh no, what's happening? But yeah, it's turn-based. I can take my time. I don't have to really rush anything. And then once we get into combat, just focus down. Handle the chaos that's going on. And then, boom. A bunch of little different things. Like strategy and whatnot that you can unlock. Pearls, meteors. Um, I like the fact that you can change up your like the shipyard and what your ships do and i mean there's just so many cool little things with this game i really really do like it a lot all right folks that is going to do it as i said if you want more information about the game where to get the game information on the developer or any of that wonderful fun stuff it'll all be down below in the description of the video as it always is if you guys did enjoy the video go ahead and leave a like give me that thumbs up subscribe to the channel there'll be plenty more first look videos and just a ton of other stuff on the channel that you should be able to enjoy and until the very next First Look video, random video, or series, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by The Freak Show, and I will see you later. <laughs>